the healthcare industry is facing an increasing number of ransomware attacks, with the shared workstations in clinical settings often being a primary attack vector. Clinicians log in and out of these workstations often throughout their workday. So maintaining digital identity as well as the context of users is mandatory for cyber threat protection and regulatory compliance. Zscaler has partnered with Improvata to offer the first complete cloud security solution for shared workstations in healthcare industries. By integrating Improvata OneSign Identity Management Platform, the Zscaler Zero Trust Exchange, or ZTE, can adaptively enforce access control policies, ensuring that only authenticated users are allowed to access authorized applications, all with a seamless user experience. In this video, we'll demonstrate two scenarios. First, a nurse taps their badge to log into a shared workstation via Improvata login. They are able to access the web page but are not allowed to upload a patient data file to a Google Drive folder as defined by access control policy. In the second scenario, a doctor logs into the same shared workstation but is able to upload a patient file to Google Drive as a different access policy is applied to their role. All of these are logged in based on the user context for regulatory compliance. Let's take a closer look at the first scenario. Here, a nurse taps their badge and successfully logs into a shared workstation through Improvata OneSign. The workstation is also protected by Zscaler Client Connector. The policy for nurses is that they are able to access certain websites and applications, but will not be able to access Google Drive where the patient data is kept. Sure enough, when the nurse tries to access YouTube, they are redirected to the HIMSS webpage as the user is not allowed to access YouTube per policy. They are also prevented from uploading a patient data file onto Google Drive because Zscaler is able to identify this user as a nurse based on Improvata's identity authentication information and apply the nurse profile policy. The nurse then logs out of the workstation. Now, let's switch over to the Zscaler ZIA portal and look into our log files to see if the user-specific action was logged. Click on Analytics, and then Logs. Filter for User, and include the nurse's user ID. We can see that the log shows the user was blocked from accessing the Google Drive application. On to our next scenario. Let's see what happens when a doctor logs into the same shared workstation. When the doctor logs in, the Zscaler Client Connector will silently log out the nurse and log in the doctor. The nurse and the doctor are not aware of the Client Connector application on the workstation, making it a seamless user experience for healthcare workers. They are able to access YouTube and successfully upload a patient note to Google Drive. This is because the access control policy applied to a doctor is different from that of a nurse even though the doctor is using the same shared workstation that the nurse was on just moments ago. In addition, Zscaler has logged this policy action based on the user ID. Looking into the ZIA portal again, we can filter by the doctor's name. Upon clicking Apply Filter, we see that the doctor's actions were allowed per policy configuration and hence was able to access the Google Drive. By implementing context-aware, market-leading solutions from Zscaler and Improvata, healthcare organizations can simplify secure access, reduce the risk of ransomware attack and downtime, strengthen regulatory compliance, and improve clinician productivity and user experience.